Have you ever wondered how a little girl calls the woman? Well, only one cycle can explain this, and we call that cycle the mitotic cell cycle. So, the mitotic cell cycle is divided into three phases. The first phase is mitosis, in which it is divided into four further phases prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. This division is for ease of study. And then comes cytokinesis, in which the apparent cell finally divides into two identical other cells. Then comes the G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase, which are parts of the interphase. The first phase is prophase, where nuclear membrane disintegrates, centrosomes go to opposite poles of the cell and chromosomes become more condensed and formed. The next phase is metaphase, where chromosomes line up about equatorial plane and spindle fiber starts to emerge. The next phase is anaphase, where spindle fibers attach to connectocores and spindle fibers pull the chromosomes to opposite ends, separating the chromatids. Next phase is telophase, where cleavage flow reappear, nuclear membrane and nucleus forms and chromosomes become less dense. Cytokinesis, a dot cell separates to two identical daughter cells and daughter cells are clones of the parent cell. So the first phase of interphase is the G1 phase. G1 phase is where the cells make their RNA and make enzymes and other proteins needed for growth. After the G1 phase comes S phase. S phase is where cells synthesize their DNA. S phase is a relatively short phase too. Chromosomes are now replicated from 2N to 4N. Next comes G2 phase, where cells continue to grow and new DNA is checked and any errors are usually repaired. Now these are the biological significance of mitosis, growth, replacement of cells and repair of tissues, and a sexual reproduction. Now earlier in the video, I asked you how a little girl grows the woman. Well, a part of it is due to mitosis, your cell keeps on dividing for about 50 to 70 times and you increase in cell mass and that is why you grow. The next one is cell replacement and tissue repair. So, every single cell in your body will eventually die. So, a new cell produced from mitosis will replace it. The last one is a sexual reproduction. So, most unicellular organisms divide through mitosis. The cell divides into two identical clones of itself through mitosis, and that is how they reproduce. Now, that is the end of our video. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like.